Ten years ago, Whitney Houston and I sat down in her living room for an intense interview. It was the first time she ever admitted her drug addiction. She also told me something I'll never forget about her terror of performing, asking me as I was leaving, have you ever heard the sound of 10,000 people disappointed in you? As we said, her body is returning tonight to the church in Newark, New Jersey, where she first sang a solo and stunned the congregation. You know what I used to do, Diane? I would close my eyes like this, and I'd sing. I was so afraid, and I'd sing. And when I would open my eyes, the people would be what we call Holy Ghost fired out. They would be in such spirit of praise. I think I knew then that it was an infectious thing that God had given me. I didn't even date, my, date in my 20s. It was rough. It was rough. I think I kind of reverted back as I got older and said, well, I'm just going to party, you know? It was kind of a rebel in me, you know? Whitney dying. Crack rehab fails. First of all, let's get one thing straight. Crack is cheap. I make too much money to ever smoke crack. Let's get that straight, okay? We don't do crack. We don't do that. Crack is whack. Is it alcohol? Is it marijuana? Is it cocaine? Is it pills? It has been, at times. All? At times. If you had to name the devil for you, the biggest devil among them? That would be me. It's my desire my heart. It's what I want and what I don't want. Nobody makes me do anything I don't want to do. It's my decision. So the biggest devil is me. I'm either my best friend or my worst enemy. And that's how I have to deal with it. But now do you say not at all or do you say I can... Well, I'm not going to tell you that. I could tell you that I am not self-destructive. Not a person who wants to die. Not a person who has life and wants to live. Ten years from now, yeah. give me the perfect life for Whitney Houston. Retired, <laughs> sitting, looking at my daughter grow up, become a great woman of God, grandchildren. <laughs> um, a perfect day is like on like a Sunday or something like that when we like like sit and you know we either watch TV or like listen to gospel music or have breakfast together. And what do you like about your mom's voice? I like her voice because it's really nice and it makes me go to sleep. She sings you lullabies? I <laughs> love you. Dinner, dinner. I love you. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, for the people out there who say, we want to help, we want to help build a barrier b between mm -hmm. her and drugs, mm -hmm. what do you want them to pray for? Don't pray about the drugs. Leave the drugs alone. Why? Don't, don't Why? Pray for me as a person, for my soul, that I'm stronger. No matter, I don't care what anybody else says or did or what they claimed I was, I know I'm a child of God and I know He loves me. Jesus loves me. This I know. <laughs> yeah.